Okay, in the last few video, we have explored different configurations and the impact on LED strip light dimming by comparing tri dimmer and digital LED dimmer. We have also compared the dimming performance of a constant voltage and a constant current LED driver on the same type of flow. Here we have an actual light box that has LED strips as light source. And it says high power factor dimmable LED advertisement solution for LED light box and signage. This is jointly presented by Dimizi, ASIC and IDP PowerTech. And this solution, we actually have two approach where for the high voltage, we have the AC source that connects directly to the Dimizi 450 watts digital LED phase dimmer, which further controls the ASIC constant voltage LED driver from 36 watt to 200 watt and that outputs to the 12 volt and the 24 volt LED strips and for the low voltage DC version DC we have the AC that goes into the IDP power constant voltage 1 to 10 volt dimmable that's up to 60 watt driver which is further controlled by our um, new device which is a dim easy 1 to 10 volt dimmer or controller and the driver further con connects to the 12 volt and the 24 volt strip lights now in this particular setup we have actually connected using the DC approach where you can see this is a this is a 12 volt uh, constant voltage LED driver it actually connects this is the AC source this connects the AC source which we actually have a power meter here and it also has an um, output that's connected directly to the light box and of course it has the control lines for our new device okay the DZ1G110 now, this is actually our new device, okay, so it looks very similar to uh, what the, to our face dimmers, that's something we have been doing. It fits into the standard Schneider Clipso E30 switch plate or the TV series, okay, and, and it also has a minimum trim options for the users to further set the minimum brightness level from 0.8 volt to 3.5 volt. Now to show how it works, let's start dimming the light box and see. Now from this power meter, we actually see that the light box is now is consuming around 25.6 watt. That is at no dimming operation. Okay, obviously this is too bright for the eyes, so let's dim this down. Okay, this is the the contrast is actually quite obvious. Now, for the device, it's actually now at 2.2 .2 or 2.1 watt, which is around one tenth of the actual power that w was input to the light box, and that's the reason why it was called one to ten volt is. Uh, a scale. Now, since this minimum trim only affects the minimum level, let's bring this up, okay, to the 25.5 watt, and let's see if the how the minimum trim works. Now to change this, all we need is to have a screwdriver and just adjust the level. But as you can see, since this is a minimum that we are changing, it would have no impact to the brightness level. However, when we dim this down, the impact is shown we would not be able to adjust to the two point something watts which is one tenth 
around one tenth of the uh, power input, but to a higher level. So this is the reason why we called a customized minimum brightness level setting. Now, one advantage for one to ten volt device is that it's a very common standard. Okay, and just okay now. Um, just before we move on to other devices from IDP, let's also take a very important point. When we adjust this back, okay, let's look at the power factor. This is at full low, this is around 0 0.9495 for the power factor. And this is very important for the for for the later discussion. Now, just before we get to that, we also since one to ten volt is a market standard, it's very common. So stick to this market standard is we we would have better product support and selection. Here we have two one to ten volt. Uh, LED drivers from our business partner IDP PowerTech. This particular one is 25 watt constant current LED driver with selectable output current from 0.15M to 0.2M, 0.25M all the way to 0.9M in the steps of 0.5M. To select the output current to match a particular product user can set the DIP, the red DIP switch, according to the table here. Uh, okay. And note that when we control connect our controllers to the LED driver, please make sure that the positive and the negative terminals are co connected correctly to the 110 devices, to the 110 terminals. Otherwise, the system would not work. Okay. This type of selectable output constant current driver is particularly good if you would like to replace a burnout LED driver or even to implement a simple dimming control for an originally non dimmable lamp. Just make sure the right current is level is set. Now, here is another device. Uh, a uh, also, 1 to 10 volt uh, control, 24 volt constant current LED drive from IDP, which is exactly the same as this one. Okay. Now you can see it has, for all this 1 to 10 volt uh, drivers, it has basically three sets of cables. One, this is to the AC mains, this two is the control cables, and this is to the low, okay, or to the light box in this case, okay. As you may know, the 12 volt and 24 volt are common for LED strip light, okay. And while it's more common to use 12 volt in the market, we would like to point out that the 24 volt strip light consumes less current than the 12 volt version, and thus we do recommend users to consider 24 volt for better energy efficiency. And if the application needs to run a long cable between the dimming control location and the light box or signage location. Now, just before we switch to the AC phase dimming solution, let's also look at the temperature of the system. Okay. On the surface, we actually see difficult to see here but it's 30.7 around 30.7 degrees Celsius and for the driver is around 37.2 okay now prior to this set shooting, we have also monitored the temperature of this setup in an aircon room regularly for more than six hours, and the temperature readings are similar to this. 
Thus, for those who have been involved in LED advertisement, they would be very surprised that we would actually touch the posters like this. Okay, okay. Now, let's switch to the AC phase dimming.